Hi guys, welcome to my new video. Young people very often ask me, Hey Michael, how did you learn English? So, today I would like to inspire you, I would like to motivate you to learn English. Um, I will tell you my story and also I will give you some tips how you can learn English faster. If you are an English speaking person, you will probably see that my English is not perfect. Uh, I still do mistakes. Uh, but more and more I speak with people, less and less I care. Uh, it's a simple fact because if I would be still worried about how people feel about my language, about my English, um, I would be probably still in Europe. You just have to totally forget about it. And on the other side, you just have to start to talk as much as possible. So long story short, when I was in high school, I kind of realized I don't want to be just a guy who is sitting all day in a pub and drinks a beer, okay? Instead of that, I started to train and also to do something for my brain. I realized that learning English would be a good way how to train my brain and how to kind of invest into my education. Uh, I was thinking how to do that. So I started researching uh, what's the best way how you can learn and improve English and how to improve quickly. Uh, of course, I found a lot of online tests and things like this. But the thing what I found and what totally changed my life was one social network which was designed for people who want to trade um, basically language knowledge. Uh, the way how you do it is that you basically put out the language what you know and also you put a request on language what you want to learn. So in my case it was simple. Uh, I put out there that I want to speak English and that I'm offering Czech. It may sound funny to you, but there is actually a lot of people who want to learn Czech. Uh, let's say for travel purposes. They go to Prague, they go to capital and they want to know how they can order a food or how they can get to Prague Castle. And they want to be able to handle, let's say, a basic conversation or something like that. Uh, so I start talking to these people for like 20 minutes a day. Uh, the English gets immediately way better. I saw a big progress at school. Basically the most important thing what I did was that I start to speak with uh, people who were born in United States, Canada or even in Russia basically because these people speak English too you know they were very educated and they know everything that's the most important thing you have to find someone who speaks that language and who is native speaker I don't know if I mentioned the name of the website uh, however uh, that website is not running anymore I recently checked and uh, they shut it down on the beginning of 2016 uh, the name of the website was called Life, Life Mocha and uh, it's not running anymore so um, but I believe that it's a great concept you know that that you can actually trade the language knowledge you know so um, it was definitely a good project would help me a lot second the most important thing is a thing what I mentioned on the beginning don't be afraid to talk even with the mistakes but just keep talking third most important thing is to go home open the vocabulary and start to learn the words. You really have to understand the meaning of the words because if you know all words, it doesn't matter if you understand tenses and grammar and stuff like that. Of course, you will speak like, you know, like a kid, but you will be able to put a sentence together that people will understand you. And after they will help you out to build that sentence the correct way. So you have to know the words, okay? Another thing is, accept that you don't know anything and just don't be mad when somebody is trying to correct you just keep your ego at home and if somebody want to correct you not in that kind of like mean way hey you are idiot you sh it should be like that but if someone is really willing to help you out just accept it okay another reason why i feel it's very important to learn english is if you want to live in the country um where people obviously don't speak your language you know nobody here speaks Czech um, it's really nice to show the respect to people who live here who've been born here uh, that you are willing to learn that language uh, because they accept you to the society so you should be able to to accept their language and ex accept their rules don't be afraid to talk to native people uh, just keep talking no matter what 
learn vocabularies and still keep practicing and try to become better okay these are the things what you really have to do uh, keep re just give respect to the country where you live learn that language um, accept the rules and just be like the people around you now I'm able to talk to anyone on the planet who speaks English which is amazing it's few billion people it's great you know it's it's amazing uh, another thing Many of these people are really, really good in the things what they do, you know. Because of my English, I'm right now able to learn Jiu-Jitsu from the best people on the planet just because I, I understand what they're saying when they're explaining the techniques, I understand what they mean. Uh, before that, I would just be staring at them and I wouldn't understand anything, you know. So that's very important. Um, another important thing, books, internet and all these kind of sources of information. There's a public library close to my house. You can go there and pick up any book and read it there is so many important knowledge in these books and it's for free so you can sit down and learn and other stuff these books will never be translated or written in my language they will be never in Czech written or translated doesn't matter so without English I would not be able to read them and understand them. So guys, please, if you don't speak English, if you are from Czech or from anywhere else on the planet, please sit down and start to learn because you will see how many other opportunities will open because of the knowing the foreign language. I have never met a single person who would be laughing to my English, you know, uh, because people usually understand how hard it is to learn some new language, you know, and the fact that I do mistakes in English, it just means that I'm able to speak some other language, you know. Uh, which very often people who would be laughing you uh, they don't speak any other language so that's all for today guys uh, I hope you that this little bit helps you and will keep you motivated to do something not just about your body but also about your knowledge um, let me know if you have any questions as I said you know um, unfortunately the website where I start learning doesn't work anymore but just try to find someone who speaks English and just talk to him as much as possible you know all you have have Facebook so just find there some stranger explain him or her a situation and uh, let's see if it can work you know so thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye